Hi, boys and girls. Today, I am going to read you a story called The Rooster Who Would Not Be Quiet. And it's written by Carmen Agraditi and it's illustrated by Eugene Yelchin. I love this story. And I just went outside to my chickens and I got some really cool footage of our rooster calling. So, The Rooster Who Would Not Be Quiet. Once there was a village where the streets rang with song from morning till night. Dogs bayed, mothers crooned, engines hummed, fountains warbled, and everybody sang in the shower. Everyone and everything had a song to sing. This made the village of La Paz a very noisy place. It was hard to hear. It was hard to sleep. It was hard to think. And no one knew what to do. So they fired the mayor. Vote for Don Pepe. Now they were a very noisy village without a mayor. So they held an election. Only Don Pepe promised peace and quiet. He won by a landslide. The next day, a very polite law appeared in the village town square. No loud singing in public. Por favor. Things were getting better already. But more laws soon followed. No loud singing at home. No loud singing. No singing. Basta! Quiet already! Until finally, the noisy village of La Paz was silent as a tomb. Even the tea kettles were afraid to whistle. Some people left the village singing loudly. Others stayed behind and learned to hum. The rest were just grateful to have a good night's sleep for crying out loud. Seven very quiet years passed. Then one evening, a saucy gallito and his family wandered into the village and roosted in a fragrant mango tree. When the little rooster awoke the next morning, he did what most roosters were born to do. He sang, Kikiriki! As his rotten luck would have it, the mango tree grew beneath the cranky mayor's window. Uh-oh. You there, growls Don Pepe. No singing, it's the law. Well, that's a silly law, said the merry gallito. Smell this sweet mango tree. How can I keep from singing? Huh, then I'll chuck down that stinky tree, huffed Don Pepe. Will you sing then? The plucky gallito shrugged. I may sing a less cheerful song, but I will sing. And he did. Still singing, snapped Don Pepe. You have no tree, remember? I have no tree, said the gallito, but I have my hen and chicks. How can I keep from singing? Will you sing if I throw you in a cage alone? Threatened Don Pepe. I may sing a lonelier song, said the stubborn gallito, but I will sing. And he did. Why are you singing now? growled Don Pepe. You have no hen and chicks? No hen and chicks, the gallito sighed. But I still have corn to eat. How can I keep from singing? And if you have no more corn, asked the mayor. I may sing a hungrier song, said the headstrong gallito. But I will sing. And he did. Kiki-riki! 
Aren't you hungry, you crazy bird? wailed Don Pepe. Claro, of course, said the gallito. But if the sun can still shine despite this world's troubles, how can I keep from singing? And if you never see the sun again, snarled the mayor, and he ran for a blanket to cover the rooster's cage. I may sing a darker song, the brave gallito called after him, but I will sing. And he did. Kiki Riki. As the gallito song echoed down the soundless streets of La Paz, it stirred an old familiar longing for a time when everyone and everything had a song to sing. Kiki Riki, Kiki Riki, Kiki Riki. Not so with Don Pepe. Singing gave him indigestion. The next day, Don Pepe stumbled out into the yard in his nightshirt. He tore away the blanket and pleaded, You have no tree to roost in, no hens and chicks to comfort you, no grain to fill your belly, no sun to drive away the shadows. Why, oh, why are you still singing? Promise to stop and I will set you free. One by one, a quiet crowd began to gather in Don Pepe's yard. I sing for those who dare not sing or have forgotten how, said the gallito. If I must sing for them as well, senor, how can I keep from singing? And if you have been made into soup, said the mayor, I suppose you will still sing if you are dead? The entire village held its breath, waiting for the gallito's reply. Dead roosters sing no songs, he said. Ha! crowed Don Pepe, sure he had won. But a song is louder than one noisy little rooster and stronger than one bully of a mare said the gallito, and it will never die so long as there is someone to sing it. And there was. Kiki Riki, Kiki Riki, Kiki Riki, Kiki Riki. Adios. Once again, there was a village where the streets rang with song from morning until night. This made for a very noisy place to live, and that's just the way everyone liked it. And the author wrote a note, and they said, Roosters sing at sunrise. They also sing at noon, sundown, and in the middle of the night. Roosters sing when they please, and that's all there is to that. Much like roosters, human children are born with voices strong and true and irrepressible. Then, bit by bit, most of us learn to temper our opinions, censor our beliefs, and quiet our voices. But not all of us. There are always those who resist being silenced but will crow out their truth without regard to consequence. Foolhardy or wise, they are the ones who give us the courage to sing. Carmen Agardidi I hope you liked this story, and I hope you have a great day. Get outside. It's beautiful out there, and take care till next time. Bye.